It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Hello, boys. Hi, Mike. Uh, hey. Just wanted oh. to come by and say I'm sorry. I apologize. Mike. I know I'm causing a lot of controversy here. I know yeah. a lot of people expected me to, uh, you know, go the distance. But unfortunately, I'm uh, elderly and infirmed, and I will no longer be uh, providing you with my services as the party. Hey, Pope. It's yes. Well I gotta. I gotta. I gotta say. Call me Pope Ratzenberger. I'll just call you. You can call me Benedict. How about your Just em- don't call me eggs. Hey, there you go. <laughs> right. What about eggs your eminence? Benedict. What's that? Your eminence. My eminence, I can accept that. No, 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 that. no. I mean, you, I'm going to call you your eminence. Yeah, That's... call me your eminence. Yeah, I can not, accept that not, one. Okay, I just want to no say. No problem at all. Pope Ratzenberger, eminence, eggs, Benedict. You are in a good mood. Is that because <laughs> you're, you look, you're out of here? But you look weary. I have one word for you. What? Right. Well, two words. Okay. okay. Turks. Yeah. Caicos. <laughs> yes, sir. Rock and roll. Yes. Hello, Mr. Santana. Biddly boop boop, biddly boop boop. I'm Listen out of there. To him. February 28th. I am free. F R E free. People across America, it's been uh, six, seven hundred years since someone's ever uh, really retired. Or walked away from the the pond. mindless statistics. I don't I don't occupy myself. Good for Pond-y. you. That's right. The only Good century I like is the Buick century, which I'm going to be driving <laughs> in my red loafers. What type of severance package <laughs> does the loafers. Vatican give you? Severance package. I am yeah, set like for any, life. Any parting gifts? I can live like a king. Really? And it's unprecedented because centuries before, when the Pope would resign, they'd give him anything he wants, and they still have that law on the books. Now, I heard from the Vatican that yes. you're going to at least for a while after. After you leave the office there, uh, be living with cloistered nuns. That is the public line. I see. <laughs> oh, I that see. is the public line, is but actually, a... I will not be sequestered among monks. I don't want to be with those no, boring n- people. Nuns, they Oh, say. nuns, really? Nuns, yes. yes. Oh, well, we, uh, we did that as a good cover story. <laughs> no, I'm going to be on a beach. It's either Antigua, Turks, <laughs> and Caicos, or I might go to St. Thomas or St. Croix. Now, is it true what I heard? Is it true what I heard in your contract? You get to keep your wardrobe. Oh, everything I get. That is great. Well, it's fit to me. It's custom robes. Sure. Custom robes fit just for me. And in the words of Kevin Meany, for all the people saying, oh, Mr. Pope, yeah. you're leaving too early. Mr. Pope, you don't care about the church. Right. Mr. Pope, you're supposed to die in the office. Yeah. I just want to say, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Clearly you don't care. I don't care. No, let it feel, leave it for a younger man. What about I'm 85. The, uh, I want to party my last days on this planet. What about the Golden Throne? Who the gets Golden that? Throne? Well, the Golden Throne is going to be moved to wherever the papal uh, ex-residence is. Okay. And I would so love you'll to keep have, it. Well, the Golden Throne, is uh, it's a toilet. Oh, right. it's oh. not a real throne; it's a toilet. Yeah. You know. I say, figure of speech. So your basic pope duties will no longer be me, and uh, I will not even be saying mass. I will uh-huh. simply be hanging out in a villa hanging at out. my destination of my choosing. Have you? Will you get to keep the smoking pocketbook? <laughs> <laughs> you checked, huh? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yes, fine Italian leather. <laughs> <laughs> Smokes on cue, <laughs> That's nice. and uh, you know I've gone over the uh, the severance package. I will be uh, maintaining the papal salary. That will be maintained. The papal residence will be taken care of by That's the great. Vatican. I will receive a company car. I will see receive the company wardrobe. Wow. I will receive unlimited meals. I will receive butler service. I will receive nice. uh, the regular papal newsletter. I will receive <laughs> everything that I require. It will and the papal throne, yeah. the golden throne, as right. you like to call it, will yeah. come with me too. And all this is. Is all this going to really stick? I mean, have you checked with a good Catholic lawyer? I have. As a matter of fact, the good Catholic lawyers have informed me that I am on uh, ES. I'm on Plan ES. What is that? Easy Street. That's it. Easy Street. That's what I'm on, ladies and gentlemen. This is where... Wait, let me look. I'm looking through my papers right yeah, here. Yeah. My Contract. paper papers. Okay. Yep. We got the car. We got the uh, living expenses. We got the butler, the yeah. valet service. Check. Check. No dental. God damn it. <laughs> it's the Mike O'Mara Show. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at www.mikeomarashow.com. Stay tuned for an outstanding entertainment program. It's The <laughs> Mike O'Mara Show. Let's get down to business. You found paradise in America. You had a good trade, made a good living. Police protected you and there were courts of law. And you didn't need a friend like me. Now you come to me and you say, Don Corleone, give me justice. But you don't ask for respect. You don't offer friendship. You don't even think to call me Godfather. Instead, you come into my house on the day my daughter's to be married and you ask me to do murder. Money. They ask you for justice. That is not justice. Your daughter is still alive. Let them suffer then. As she suffers. How much shall I pay you? Buona sera. Buona sera. What have I ever done to make you treat me so disrespectfully? 
He'd come to me in friendship. And the scum that ruined your daughter would be suffering this very day. And if by chance an honest man like yourself should make enemies, then he would become my enemies. And then they would fear you. Be my friend? Godfather? Good. Someday, and that day may never come, I'll call upon you to do a service for me. But uh, until that day, accept this justice as a gift on my daughter's wedding day. It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Mike O'Mara, Buzz Burbank, Rob Spiewak, Oscar Santana. And now, from his couch, here's Mike. Live from the Cappy Pfeiffer Studios, yeah. this is the Mike O'Mara Show. We are downloaded worldwide 17 million times, powered by Encore Insurance. We're at MikeOMaraShow.com, WTNT, and KCJJ in Iowa. Today is Tuesday, Feb 12, 2013. It feels good to be in afternoons again, Mike. Oh, my God. We're glad to have you with us. Uh, it's been a morning. It has oh, been a morning. We're doing we have a been, morning uh, show at we, night. We have been uh, actually. <laughs> yes, yes. You know, <laughs> really. If we were if we were in a life threatening situation, right? There, in the movies, you have the hero, mm-hmm. you have the evil guy, uh-huh. right? And then you have the complainer yeah. or, or the coward, like Doctor Smith. I've got the complainer right over here. <laughs> you are you are you are not a patient man. It, it's not that I, I was a man with a plan, and my plans have been averted. But that is and that is well, you might as well take a testicle uh-huh. and stab it with a uh, kneading needle. That's you. It's the worst thing you can do is to disrupt your routine. Would yeah. that be accurate? Uh, it's pretty bad. Yeah. It's pretty bad for you. <laughs> what we're talking about? We've all had disruptions yeah, today. Yeah, well, yeah. you know the 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 thing is, <laughs> we have had. Very significant technical issues with our cameras right. and with our video feed. Yeah, and finally, after three hours, we uh, we couldn't get it fixed again. I want to thank Pony Boy for coming in here Matt uh, and coming from home to uh, to try to fix it today. But unfortunately, for the you streamers, you're not going to have it today. No pictures. It's just the it, we're it's, sans pictures. Well, right? I like radio and without pictures. Quite frankly, we spend too much goddamn time worrying about cameras. Yeah, I think we're so. radio guys, yeah. and I'd like yeah. to rip them, I'd like to rip them all out of the studio. Let's yeah. take the them way, out. The the amount of time, oh, the God. amount of man hours that mm-hmm. have been spent on oh, this, yeah. these cameras and everything in this studio for the way they work and mm-hmm. what they give right. is just crapola. This is the way God intended it. Just sound. No just pictures. radio. That's, yeah, right. that's right. So, you know, for those of you that are listening, uh, I'm happy. For those of you and that what, hang what, on every word and want to see what we're saying, uh, I'm sorry about and that. And what Mad Bloom's solution was, he says, Mike... Pay the electric bill. Yes, I know. <laughs> Please. Our show today is brought to you by ScoreBig.com. It's a great time of year for live sports, or maybe you want to take someone special to a concert for Valentine's Day. Uh-huh. Either nice. way, uh, I'm ordering two tickets for next week's Caps game. Oh, yes, Thursday's are. Valentine's Day. No, that's no, next Thursday. A week, a week from, from Thursday. Oh, yes. be the a week from Thursday. Okay, yes. So, oh, Mike, that's Bolivian Valentine's Day. Well, Oscar might be going, or Carla, or somebody. Somebody's right. going. I'm getting two tickets, and somebody's going to the game with it. You're not going. I'm not I know. going. No. Uh, maybe you want to take someone special to a concert for Valentine's Day. Either way, your first stop is scorebig.com. Now, what they do at Scorebig, they give you different tiers of tickets, and you can save up to 60% on the best tickets here and across the country. Mm-hmm. Every single ticket on Scorebig is below box office price, and there are never any fees, so stop wasting your money. No matter what team or show you want to see, go to scorebig.com, enter the code TMOS, and get an extra $15 off on your first order. That's on top of your up to 60% savings Never pay box office prices again. Go to scorebig.com and use the code TMOS. I'll tell you what I'm going to do yes. with Scorebig. Right. I am actually going to get the tickets on Scorebig, and then I'm going to give you a breakdown on other tickets that are available on other websites. Cool, cool. That's cool. I won't mention any names because I'm not allowed to do that, but I'm going to do a comparison shop Will here. you draw a chart, too? I'll draw... No, I, because we don't have cameras. No, but for me. <laughs> no, I, I'm no, a because, visual guy. Because you don't care, and even when I'm trying <laughs> to, to do a legitimate sales message, Sleepy, I, I, I will not do it. I, you know, I, I'm frustrated today. I I'm hadn't very, noticed. Very frustrated. I'm yes. I had a wonderful little playlet planned uh, yes. for the it beginning is. of the show. We will do that tomorrow on the program. We just... For now, we have to talk about the cameras. Yeah, and right. I, I'll tell you, what's frustrating is when the computers don't work, mm-hmm. and what's even more frustrating is talking to the computer guys about the computers, because <laughs> I don't know. A lot of First, time what it, we got from you a lot is, can you make that okay for a layman's terms? Yeah, I and said then, use, and, you, and you ask that a you lot. Mean, and can you use layman's terms? Exactly, and it never got to a point <laughs> where I think either you or I were able to understand what was going but on. But you're younger than I am, and you need to, you need to try harder. Yeah. Because you're the backup to him. 
Okay. So him as in we, me. we've got Mark, and then we've got Oscar, right, and then we've right. got you. Right. And he's over here, you know, with his nose in it, and you're me. And I can't have another me in here. No, that's <laughs> true. Because this is you. <laughs> Well, Rob offered to help. He said, "And, and, and I he, don't care. And his should, defense, you should accept his and help." In his defense, he says, "He's smart." I, what did you say exactly? I said, "If there's anything I can do, no, please let me know." No. I said, "Usually, my best help is to stay out of the way." But if there is anything I can <laughs> That's do, that's the lazy man's <laughs> anthem. That is the I'm not good at it. That is the I've used that excuse my for my entire life. I'm not good at you know. I don't want to be in the way. We need we need redu- You've got a big brain. Yes. And you need to use your big brain to help the other brains that we have. Right, you know, right. the problem we have here is I heard error message. Uh-huh. A lot I of that. heard a lot of that. I heard new software. I heard uh-huh. both blue and green screens. I heard yeah. blue screen. Uh-huh. Then I heard that the and when, and when I was really getting ready to throw right. things, which I'm very good at, things. is when the mouse didn't work. Mm-hmm. That's oh, right. I've but, had a computer my whole life, and my mouse has never broken. But we knew we were in trouble when something started speaking French. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got it. Oh, yeah, we got it in French and Spanish. Yes. So the at way I understand points. this, you stream updated, right? Yes. And you have the computer industry. That is chock full of these guys, I think, that are bored. Yeah. And I think they create something. This is just a theory. Right. And Oscar, I want you to address this because okay. you pay more attention like than anybody in this studio yeah. to these type of things. Right. You have a bunch of guys in, uh, whether it be Facebook, whether it be Google, mm. Amazon, wherever they mm. are, and they do something that's spectacular. And then their company gets big, mm-hmm. and they hire more people that uh, participate in that, that spectacularness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they get bored. And when they get bored, they need to create new little things. Tweaking. That is why, for example, my least favorite greeting from the Apple company is, we have updated software for you. <laughs> I'm fine with what you got, boys. Right, right. I like my oh, Facebook. I, I, I like Facebook the way it is. Mm-hmm. I don't need these constant mm-hmm. tweaks because it's an industry. It's like the paper that's generated by the insurance yeah. industry. It's not necessary. They're like and, lawyers justifying their yes, existence. Yes, you're creating problem, busy right, work. Right. The problem with the update is once something is updated, there is no way to go back. And I really wish I could go back to like six iTunes ago because mm-hmm. I do not like so iTunes true. right now. The iPhone and there's 5. no way to go back. The iPhone 5 <laughs> is an example. Yeah, you're right. They made changes that weren't necessary because they had to do something new. They had to show you something new. Hence the new portal to charge the iPhone 5 that everybody uh, just cements as the, the land of suck. That's the best illustration, and I was actually going to give that to you. A major update that comes out with the software really implies that you need to make sure that all your other programs talk to that new update. Yes. Exactly. So so the and the and the real and where you'll get with that, if you go through that logic, mm-hmm. you're gonna get to this place. Which is kind of when Rob says, I'm not good at it, I don't yeah. want to do it. It's like why why fix something? Why update something when it doesn't need to be updated? Well because I do you ever get an update on your computer like mm-hmm. uh, Apple where you go, oh, Oh, my God, look what that update did. No, it hardly Nothing ever happened. No. Nothing miraculous, no. Usually it comes with... Whether it's with, Windows, whether mm, it's uh, right, Mac, whether right. it's anything. It comes with an operating software. That's a big update. That's it. Yeah. Mm. Than, what but the says, little guys know. But what, I think we should always have the option to go back. That's something they never try, let you yeah, do. You can't but really restore What either. we've learned from this today, and in general, what we're learning in general, is technology has come to dominate our lives and can even affect our moods. It can. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm figuring this is, uh, you know... And incidentally, there's a boy in Germantown, Maryland right now that's probably just sitting back there going, (laughs) they can't do anything without me. (laughs) Mark Ronick is working from home today, Uh and uh, I encouraged him uh, because of the the amount of time he spends on the road to work from home today. Yes. And now I'm thinking, bad idea. (laughs) <laughs> just bad idea. Yeah, it didn't work just out. Just get here. Day. So we're going to have a yeah. stuff. we're going to have an update to the show. We're going to update the fact that he doesn't stay home we're gonna anymore. We're going to update our software. Yeah. No, it just, you know, worked when he was here. Anyway. Uh so it also worked when he left. It, yeah, it, so what's what that? Happened? It's also worked when he left, so I, I I really couldn't tell you what happened. So in and once again in layman's terms. Yes. Yeah. We didn't have cameras today. Right. We don't have our video feed today. And if you can, in a less than a paragraph, uh-huh. explain uh-huh. why we don't have uh, cameras today. Because the update that came from Ustream uh, basically broke the rest of the programs that were talking to our computer. That's it. 
Do you get that? Not really. I don't either. Do you get uh, that? Uh, kind of, but not really. So they you updated. Can, let me offer this. Yes. They updated their program. And you stream and you, updated, nothing else updated. Yes. So they're not playing nice they're anymore. They're not playing together. Well said. How's that? What you did was interrupt me when I was going to ask my stupid question. And when I'm in this kind of a discussion, I don't get it. I can only, I'm happy to be able to even come up with a question. Mm-hmm. How about you that? said something and now I'm confused again. For your car, <laughs> right? If you imagine your car and you got a new key to your car. I imagine a nice shiny Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Say you lost the keys to your Lambo. Yeah. Right? That's what happened. We lost the keys to that program. So when they update their thing, you have to, you have to accept it. You you don't have, you don't have the choice. You don't have the ch- you have the choice, but you usually with these updates, what traditionally happens oh, in the, the software world is that everybody talks to each other, so it isn't something that's going to break everything else. But it did. It did. Yeah. So it came in. We said, "Oh, we'll take your new up yes. your upgraded mm-hmm. software." It auto updated because when you hear upgrade, you think you think better. you're on a plane yeah. and you're going to sit in first class, you, but you're not. You you're think- sitting in the porta potty. <laughs> You, you think improve, and you're going to still be in the porta potty even not. after your upgrade. It's a bullshit term. Yeah, sorry, that's, that's all right. All right. We'll, what we'll have to do is we'll edit out the part where you said that thing. You know, it really, really kills me because it's not an upgrade. It's bored nerds coming up with new things. And yeah. they always have something very, very uh, nondescript. Oh, we're fixing bugs. Bug fixes. Yeah, yes. it's a bug And then fix. Pony Boy marches in from Centerville, half an hour away, drives in on his white horse. And uh-huh. <laughs> 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 Not him, the, you know the equipment. A, you don't know him. <laughs> you know He's a, the savior, and he comes in. And he's, <laughs> here's Pony Boy's contribution to this day. Uh-huh. Uh, the mouse doesn't work. <laughs> that's true. That's, Help! A, that's not fair to him. <laughs> well, I've been very fair to him today. I'm very angry today. How much I'm do not, we pay that man? I'm not, I'm not yelling today. I know, I know. We'll uh, take everybody. We everything's pay. so complicated. Jesus Christ. I Nothing's swear to easy. God. It's ridiculous. Well, I can't say that this probably, from anybody that's listening to the show right now, whether it be on TNT or KCJJ or on the web, Yes, we've all had programs that work just fine, and then when you updated them, yeah. they didn't work anymore. They ruined it, and sometimes it's, it's out in months. Yeah. Yeah. Today so we've been sitting, and here's the thing that, that kills me. This is where it's all about the quest. Mm-hmm. We have had the ability... Mm-hmm. Audio wise, which is what this show is, we are radio people. Radio First show. We yeah. do we do shows for microphones without cameras. We've had that availability since eleven o'clock this morning when we normally tape the show. Yes, yes. but unfortunately, we've been dicking around waiting for Trying all this stuff. But it's it's killing. Why me. don't we have a standing rule? What's that? If the U stream doesn't run when we start when we're ready to broadcast on the audio stream, we, we go just we it. don't deal with the U stream. Yes. Fair? I, I, I vote Standing yes. yes. Standing I vote yes. Motion, yes. motion carries. Good. Because then All we're right. done with the show, and whatever's wrong with the cameras, we can always fix after. But we have invested a rather significant amount of the show's money True. in these yeah. cameras and in the brand new uh, computer. You're talking so the, most days and, uh, we'll try to do I that. I am looking at the man who has spent most of that money right there. <laughs> I'm, so you're looking at the man that spent most of the time on I it I know, well. but it's been expensive, too. Hey, we could put this on eBay and get rid of it right now. Let's, let's do it. Really? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's put it up. Oh, let's, my God, yes. Let's put it up <laughs> yes, right now. Yes, we'd make our money back and I don't have, effing have to deal with you this know again. So Think of all true. the extra space we'd have. It'd be great. <laughs> Just an audio show. I would love to. Don't do this, gentlemen. Don't piss me off more. We could do Why? an audio show with still photos. You know we're we not make our give money up. back. We're not going to give up on this. For those hundred mutants that watch you, it live you every don't, day. You don't even believe what you're saying. Right. That's oh, right. You I don't want it. He doesn't, he doesn't know Mike, what he believes. Michael, do you, do you remember? <laughs> do you want to sell this stuff? Mike, do you remember when I set this up? I spent two, three days here dirt straight setting this up. I know. And for a hundred mutants. And you came in and you said, I hate the setup. And you made me rebuild it. I came after work and rebuilt it again. <laughs> and then you said, I don't like it anymore. Why can't we have better cameras? I said, well, Mike, this is what these things cost. I said, okay, we'll deal with this. This has been a, a thorn in my side my entire broadcast career with you. And I'd like to get rid of it. Like totally? Totally. Like oh. no more, uh, we don't make this, uh, but you have to be, to be competitive. In the podcast world, yeah. everyone uh, else has it. You have to be on uh, camera. Yeah. Okay, oh. but if the, if the standing, but really, how many people watch it? What if, if we lead the charge? A lot in more people listen to it than watch. Yeah, yeah. yeah, let's go retro and lead the charge in that. <laughs> 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 well, what it is, no is, cameras. You know what? The technology <laughs> that we have always been grateful for, being computer technology, is oh. really not. This is hardware. Well, it's unstable. Yes. You yeah, want to do it right, you got to get hardware. Hardware. Yeah. hardware. And hardware, good. you know, and to make this into NBC4 yes. is prohibitively expensive for our little uh, show here. We right. can't so what we Wendy. what we really are doing is we are creating a television program mm-hmm. through uh like uh, 
for example, like you would have if you were going to have a recording studio on your home computer. Yes. Yeah. If you really want uh, to create a Beyonce sounding record, mm -hmm. you can't do that with the software that they make available right. through computer stores. Right. What you have to do is you have to go out and buy Commercial uh, you know, a $150,000 mixing board mm -hmm. and you do it that way. Yeah, and, and it's and the, the same with too, television. Yeah. You're right. You're absolutely right. It's the right. same mm -hmm. with television. So why even try? You're absolutely right. Can we please? I, I, I guarantee we'll get the money back for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I still always want to have those cameras. Oh, there we go. Because it appeals to my <laughs> It's ego. a love hate. Uh, and besides, I'm looking at it right now, even though it's dead. <laughs> That's the funny. I'm part. looking at it now, even though it's dead. I and think Oscar dead. brought in new sheet metal today. Yes. So I mean, we're we're closer than ever before. I don't right. know what the end game is. What Mike, more can I do for you? But Oscar we are closer has, than ever before. Oscar has remounted uh, <laughs> a couple of the cameras in here, mm -hmm. and uh, he's used uh, uh, elastic bands. <laughs> no, yeah, no, 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 sheet metal. Go sheet metal. Just testing. It. Very thin, flexible, flexible sheet metal. Yeah, metal. It's foil, really. <laughs> and uh, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for all that you do. We I just mean, today, we today, I believe that's the hardest. That that moment, you have it right here. That's yes. where your tummy hurts, yes. right? right? That's where mine's starting to bother me yeah. a little bit too. It's right in that that ulcer point of the uh, of the stomach right now. Mm -hmm. And then Pony Boy is a <laughs> Pony <laughs> Matt Bloom. Matt Bloom. Matt Bloom is such a nice guy that he I is. can never yell at him. But right. when he's gone, I can yell about him. Yeah. Because he's a very nice guy, now, and he's off yell, getting software right what now. What will yell? Will they be words of praise? <laughs> I like the guy. I love him. Sure. Yes. <laughs> I like the guy. I truly do. I like the guy, and I like what he does, and the price is right. That is sure. true. That's the way it works. So if you're wondering, those of you passionate Mike O'Mara Show fans mm. that uh, are not able to see our wonderful faces today, it's never going to happen again. Yeah. Never. <gasps> yes. Until next what, what is that yes for? <laughs> well, because I've always contended uh, that it was kind of um, on a on a lark where we were like, "Hey, we're going to do this," right? And then we actually did it. And then I looked at the people that were watching, and I said, "Well, these hundred people, I'm glad I built this machine for them." Yeah. So it hasn't. We had no really payback for it. Yeah. On that. It's no, there's no ROI, my yeah. friend. Exactly. The You're the one that talked me into all this stuff. Yeah, and I'm sorry. Let me. <laughs> are you? Re are you really? <laughs> I am. You really are. Yes. After all this time, yeah. Well, I'm more sorry because it's. It I, I guess out. you want you want a, you want a Lamborghini performance out of no, a, no. I'd settle for I'd, I'd settle for getting the, uh, the you know the 1968 Volkswagen yeah. to run. Yeah, but yeah. at this point, I don't. I, don't blame it on me. Wait, whose vehicle? <laughs> uh, which car blew up? Its engine blew up. It was famous for Pinto. It. Yeah. So we've we have a Pinto. My right. dad had and one. A Pinto <laughs> will run. Well, sometimes I imagine, and yeah. sometimes the engine is going to blow up. Mm -hmm. We just we haven't bought a Lamborghini. If we bought a Lamborghini, it'd be a lot of well. Money. Do you own a Lamborghini in any of your fifteen no. podcasts no. that you and, do? And they crash all the time. We just don't melt down. We just do right. the show. Oh, okay, all yes. right. So, well, like we're doing today. Yes. Yeah. I mean that because you really, at a certain point, you have no choice. Yes. Remember but, what I said, Mike. Let's I, listen, lead the charge and going backwards. <laughs> My commitment is that we will continue to work on the cameras, okay, and we will get it right, uh -huh. and As we will have we, that available. Your boy Oscar. Uh, you will. You will. Do that. <laughs> Are you going to help him? Absolutely. <laughs> if needed. Really? Yes. All right. There are a lot of things to discuss on the show today. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, I want to talk. We didn't get to it yesterday. I want to talk about George Bush's bathroom self. You oh, know, yeah. I hadn't heard about them till you teased, and I looked at them. They're fantastic. They're very interesting. They now are. that would be helpful if we had cameras in here. It but would. No, because people, most people are listening to the show. Right. They yes. can look. On They're the on internet. a treadmill right now. They're listening on can WTNT. I give you the percentage of live viewers we have. No, that's okay. I understand. Okay. Uh, percentage he was of the show. Just going to make it's, them up anyway. It's under ten percent. Correct. Oh. Under five. It's under five yeah. percent. It's under All four. Right. Maybe very good. Maybe t less uh, than one. That actually watch it live. Congratulations go out to Kate Upton. We'll talk about that yes. uh, for her cover. Um, I that. have some very strong feelings about her. So do I. I. I think. Well, yeah, but I mean, I think that she's very lucky. Yeah, oh, true. I really do. And I think so. Am I. Really? I think you. I think if you got the issue, and it is, when does the issue actually come out on newsstands? Do we? Know? I, think I think if you're a subscriber, you got it already. You, you already, already got, got it. Already. Yeah. If we can get our hands on a copy. We can maybe yes. go over it tomorrow. Yes. I think you would go through that. Uh, we'll talk about it. Okay. Uh, plans for Valentine's Day. I want to see what all you guys are up to. Uh -huh. uh, is Rob's dog truly loved, or simply a photo op to soften his image? <laughs> Conan O'Brien. Uh, Carla says you're welcome. Movie reviews. I, I didn't get to those yesterday. Two I got movies. two that I saw. Two, two movies. 
movies. Uh, Ray Lewis statue, really? Uh, we might get to that. Uh, the nightmare that I had about my daughter. Uh, and uh, thanks, thanks to a special listener for liking a bit that I did. Oh, I thought that that nice. was cool. uh, that was terrific. So very cool. All, all that on the program today. Have we sufficiently explained to our listeners uh, what happened? And most of the people. So I'm explaining to 95 over 95 percent of our listeners something they don't really care about. Well, if they choose to, uh, the, on do the, people go back and watch it after the fact? Uh, p- people some, say they do, some. but the numbers aren't. I'm impressed by sheer numbers. Right. But, and and after all the time I've spent building this in many different incarnations. Yes. While I value the person that sits there and takes the time to watch us do this live. Right. When I see the full number, even a full month's show's number. Not right. The, people. the only people that, if, if you compare that to the audio, we're talking about 5%. Mm. That's but, what hurts but, me the but, most. But, Mike, 100% of the listeners care about our trials and tribulations. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> they truly do. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I hope I explained it right. The cameras were. So it's much more significant to us. So we screwed through three hours of the show today. I tried to explain just to get that cameras to you, and, and you, just, you don't want to listen. I like everything to be right, especially when we wait. If you keep me waiting for 15 minutes, and that to me is like, okay, can we get it back? While he and the whole time, us- wait, wait. The whole time we were doing this yes. was... Can we get it back on? Uh-huh. Can we get it? And it was like 10 minutes, yeah. 15 minutes, right. 10 minutes for three hours. 15 yeah. for three that, hours. That we had a nice lunch, though. He yes. was revising a little bit there. We got a lot of 15-minute waits. Uh, we did. Yeah. yeah. And so, I mean, if it, was, time, if it had only been 15 minutes, we would have been fine. Next right. time, I will say, look, let's do it after the show. After the show. Yeah. You got it. All right. So, uh, you streamers, sorry for that. We apologize. But you're a small number. And uh, say la vie. <laughs> and Buzz, thanks for buying lunch for everybody. Yeah, very nice of you, Buzz. Pleasure. We'll take a break. Come back with more on the Mike O'Mara Show. Right now. <laughs> Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by Wait Not. Don't just make a resolution, make a commitment. If you're serious about losing weight, you're ready to succeed with Wait Not. Rob Spiewak lost about 100 pounds because he made the commitment and called Wait Not. Now Rob and the Wait Not family are challenging you to do the same. Wait Not's commitment is to help you lose weight fast in a healthy way with real food, no packaged meals, and no shakes. And because Wait Not works fast, it's a better value than programs that take much longer. It's time to look better and feel better. Call 855-WAIT-NOT. That's 855 934 86 or visit waitnot.com. Wait not, show us what you're made of. Yeah, show uh, us. Welcome back to the show. Whoa, whoa, everybody. Uh, I hope I sufficiently explained the technical issues we had. I think you did. Uh, Honest frustration. Let's start with uh, the, the, the news of the day. No, it's not the Pope. No, it's not the fact that North Korea blew up a nuclear device underground no. and caused seismic activity. Yes. It's Kate Upton. Mm, uh, yeah. yes. She's now, everywhere. Kate Upton uh, was the name, the cover girl for the Sports Illustrated swimsuit calendar. Right. I had made a reference to uh, Kate Upton a few weeks ago, which uh, really, after seeing several videos, I realized perhaps I, I misspoke. You, you judged harshly, and then you thought better But then again, it. I saw her again today. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And I, I would just like to throw this out, that All Kate right. Upton, to me, it appears to be... Uh, from a fat guy, I know I have no right to say this. You have every right because, because she's, she's a beautiful young twenty-year-old woman. Very attractive. But she looks like she's literally one sweet potato fry away from exploding. To me, she really? looks. She does not have There's the a fat classic, girl trying to get out. I wrote this. Do you think she's got the classic swimsuit model body? And I go back to the Kathy Irelands of this world, right. the Elle McPhersons of this right. world, the Cheryl Teagues of this world, the, even some of the uh, Victoria's Secret models that you have seen. Mm-hmm. Kate Upton, I was looking at her, and she looks like she's she's got every... Nobody can argue with her top side. She's curvy, right. Mike. Right. She's and, very and, and, curvy. And I only re- bring up the, this uh, objectifying discussion because of the fact that everybody's talking about it and how hot she is. So my, I open this up to the floor. She is everywhere. She uh, The all uh, top ten of the uh, ten of the girls were on Letterman last night doing the top ten list. Mm-hmm. And they walked out. The thing about And her, they're all hot. Yeah, yeah. She is very extraordinarily attractive mm-hmm. in the package she is right now. However, I think there are... She looks to me she like... Could, is she tall? I don't know. She's they all seem to be about, they all seem to be about the same height. Uh-huh. Last mm-hmm. night, okay. She's not excessively pretty though. She doesn't have the classic well, face. She's crack. more. She's no, more. She's Oscar, more... you are the one that says carry their own bucket. So this appeals to you. I think she looks a little. She... I hate to say this. I think for well, for and I'm con- I'm putting her on that swimsuit model mm-hmm. category. She looks a little sloppy. Look, I, it's documented. I like women that um that are on the brink of anorexia. I've sure. said that on the show before. <laughs> right. But I have to tell you that 
I think Kate Upton, for this generation, not our generation, not even my generation, I'm in my early 30s, it's really about the, the guys that are, that are in their 20s and the guys that are getting to their 30s. She represents a curvier woman. She yes, does. Yeah. That, that, that really is what is hot now. I, I'm very attracted to that, and she has said she doesn't really pay a much, if any, attention to what she eats. So I don't see any cellulite. I, I, I think there is a, a potential for her getting bigger as time out. goes on. Yeah. But the but point I, is, I, as she is right now, do you right. think she oh, is? she's perfect. You think yeah, she's I perfect. think she's perfect, perfect. as she is yeah. now. Yeah, you know yeah, what? Yeah. Anna Nicole Smith was perfect it, at one point. It, it probably yeah. won't get any better. And to your point, Rob, I don't know that she's as pretty as she is sexy. Okay, she, I'll me, give you that. I'll she's give all you about that. sexy, maybe yeah. not as pretty as she is sexy. Yeah, I, she I is right. that. definitely sexy. She, right. But she doesn't have the classic right. pretty features. I'm going to go through the line, all right? And I'm going to tell you the women I think are better looking than Kate Upton. Okay. You have Ada Ora. Uh, are you speaking Pig Latin? And don't know. It's A D A O R. I know who you're talking about. Adora. Okay. Probably yeah. Adora. Ah. Um, yeah, it might be a tie. I'm not sure. She's okay. a beautiful, uh, beautiful African American. I don't know if she's African American or if she's African. I'm not sure. Uh, we've got Alyssa. Uh, Alyssa to me knocks Kate up to not. These are all the women mm-hmm. that are in the swimsuit. Alyssa catalog? Miller. Brunette Alyssa Miller. Are these uh, in the sw- these are in the swimsuit issue? Yes. yes. Okay. And uh, you know she she looks. But better. look, you're saying all I'm going to need names. my own copy. Mike, Ariel looks better. Oh. Mike, for her to be on the cover, that means she's a superstar of all of them. Right. But see, I think that is like many things in society where being on the cover is almost as political as it is if you've got the Oh, goods. I agree with you, but Sports Illustrated, not to be you know rude about it, it's not really relevant these days. I mean, That's being true. on the cover of a Sports Illustrated catalog is nothing compared to being on the Victoria's Secret runway and for they're their se- And show. they're selling copies, and I think they think they can sell more copies with a name than they can with someone who's slightly prettier than the name. HBO used to have a special when I was younger. I and, think and Kate I Upton, at, it's all about the breasts. Yeah, well, well, that's yeah, what it's clearly. all about with the, mm-hmm. with the swimsuit. She's still, we can make it that. She's still beautiful. <laughs> so you guys don't. So you disagree with me? That, we disagree. With no, I, I agree with you. You think that there's a sloppy factor? I think, there. and you know what I think it is? Is I think you know you are driving. Not yet. You are driving on the edge of a cliff for miles and miles and miles, and you're perfectly safe until you take that small turn and you fall off the cliff. When, I think she's very close to yeah. spinning out. When you're talking about. A swimsuit model, and I'm mm. I'm only this whole discussion is based on this yes. is she has been anointed right the best right. body Agreed. in the world because she's the cover yeah. and I and there is has always been with the sw- Sports Illustrated swimsuit models there's been a toned quality yeah to them, yeah. which yeah. she true. doesn't seem to Agreed. have to Agreed. I, I agree got, with you about I that. I think she's got some baby fat on her. I think yeah. that baby. I, I think that uh, <laughs> calm down. It's Sorry. true that she's two chalupas really. away from maybe not being in the business anymore. <laughs> but right now she looks great. Take a look yeah. at Chrissy Teigen, for example. I give you that picture. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you. All now that's you. her with the bikini bottom Solid. and the jean jacket. Uh-huh. Yes. That to me is just about flawless as yeah. far as the yeah, body yeah. department is concerned. I agree. I yeah, agree. But Mike, yes. she's not. She doesn't have an international name. Kate Up right. is a superstar. See, but that's politics. Yeah, that is. Well, that's, that's not the marketing. I, it's marketing. It's I selling think, magazines. in my opinion, that the yeah. that the Sports Illustrated swimsuit calendar girl mm-hmm. cover girl should be the best looking woman woman that's there. Not not the name or or the marketing or any of that. There's stuff. a picture that came after that one of Tegan where uh, Kate Up came in and actually ate the denim jacket. <laughs> so you're making, I, now you're making fat jokes. I, I understand it. your point, but I, I agree with Sports Illustrated. They're going to sell more copies if yeah. they put Kate Upton on the cover. It's not political. It's commercial. It's about selling copies. Yeah, I'm and going can, do through. magazines make money anymore? Does any That's magazine make only, money? Only this one yeah, issue. The fact yeah. we're talking okay, about Okay, there's it. a picture I want to show you. I didn't know. Yes. Yes. I've seen it. It yeah. looks beautiful. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, sure. Yeah. I'm she's okay with that. She's got some big that. hips. I'm okay with that, Tommy. You know? <laughs> yeah. But she's only twenty. Let's, I know she's let's only judge her twenty. When she's twenty five. Yeah, she's giving and up. judge her harshly. We shall. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So two of us uh, agree. Two of yeah. us yeah. disagree. Fifty fifty. Uh, uh, let's split. let's get Stay to. Stay tuned for the spin out, Mike. <laughs> 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 no, there's something, and she was there today, and she was like, I saw her on the uh, oh, you didn't set like of the Today attitude. Show, and the, oh, Attitude. Oh, she got don't that. get me started on Attitude. You did not like <laughs> it. Attitude goes a long way. Yeah. I want, sure, sure. Like, for example, if you if you talked about Attitude at the Grammys, you know who had the best Attitude at the Grammys? And this might surprise you. Who? Uh, Taylor Swift. Oh, I okay. agree I think with you're you. you're right. She yeah. was she in the audience. She was singing along with everybody Happy, enthusiastically. Glad to be there. She was putting her hands yep. up in the air. You know who had the worst attitude at the Grammys? This who? is a slam dunk. Who? Rihanna and Chris Brown. That's, I agree, uh, too. Oh, yeah. Who looked like they were the two spoiled little maybe, S's maybe down there. Maybe they were in a fight. 
Who knows? Who, who was yelling at them for not applauding somebody? I, I was reading something that Rihanna and Chris Brown were yeah, not were applauding, not giving an ovation yeah, to somebody. Sure. All I, I know is that... I said that yesterday. I yes. think Adele was yelling at them. Well, yelling uh, at them angrily. At one point, uh, Carrie Underwood won. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And everybody around Carrie mm-hmm. Underwood stood up and applauded her. Mm-hmm. And Chris Brown and Rihanna were looking down, uh-huh. clapping and like this. And it pissed off Adele, and she got up and started screaming at them. We couldn't hear it because of the crowd noise. Really? But Adele, uh, Adele went off on them. Wow. Yeah. Let me see if that's up here somewhere. Hold on. Hold on. Talk <laughs> That'd be good. Yourself. Adele, I, that's, you know, that's you, what I read this morning. You don't want to piss her off. No, she, she's uh, She could have rather, them as, as a snack. Rather yeah. hefty herself. Uh, next year, I think Adele is slated to be on the Sports Illustrated cover. <laughs> and just in time. Yeah. Gonna, it's going to be her <laughs> and Jeff, Adele. Her and Chris Christie about together. <laughs> Big, it's going to be a double issue. <laughs> Do you know what I felt really You're, bad about? I got about? it, guys. It says it right here. I felt bad for Kelly Clarkson because I really, really, really do like Kelly oh, Clarkson. Oh, yeah. She's so talented. Yeah. But if, like, look, Kelly Clarkson has fluctuated for the majority of her career. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here's the picture got... of Adele yelling at Chris Brown. Oh, right? wonderful. There oh, how yeah. great. <laughs> that is truly amazing. Yay. Does he look Good scared? For her. But Good Kelly for her. Clarkson looked like she ate Taylor Swift. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. know what happened. Yeah, and, I know. and Taylor Swift, she was Still so enthusiastic that if I didn't think she was so nice, I would assume she was just simple. So like says, she was just having a great time there. This is a caption to the photo. Here mm-hmm. is one last frozen shot from the 2013 Grammys. It's of the moment that Adele yelled at Chris Brown, presumably uh-huh. for his decision not to stand when Frank Ocean won Best Urban That's Contemporary it was. Album. That's what it was. Or for his decision to fight Frank Ocean over a parking spot. <laughs> right, right. Or for his decision to beat up his girlfriend <laughs> and show no public remorse about it, even years after the fact. It could be any of those things. Anyway, respect to Adele for doing what the Grammy producers refused to, by nominating Brown and putting him in the front row seat, Adele for a recording at a Academy President or Grammy or Grammy's Hall Monitor at least. So has have there has there been any follow up on on that? Because that's a pretty big deal. That's a pretty now, big I'm, scandal. I'm stealing a joke here, but I read that it's true that Chris Brown smashed his Porsche, but it's because he loves it so much. <laughs> That's great. So wrong. I think I Adele, it. after that, should have yelled at Frank Ocean himself for singing that Forrest okay. Gump song. Here's the problem. Oh, like Adele that. seems to yell Naturally. at Chris Brown. Uh-huh. This is based on a photograph. Seems to, yeah. And we don't... Uh, well, then it goes... What on. I read this morning is that she was, in fact, yelling, and it wasn't. nobody was able to make it out because of everybody else's applauding. And Hello! Why don't thing. you stand up? <laughs> All right, bollocks. What are you doing sitting down <laughs> there? Like that. And yeah. I, I think I'm, I think I'm just as hot as Kate Upton. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Even though she's got a little belly fat around yeah? Sweet there. Sweet potato fries. Uh, so anyway, but Chris Brown, uh, attitude to me yeah. counts. Yeah. And when you don't like have the attitude, don't he does look like yeah. a scum. Yeah. He does. He really, really does. Uh, but anyway, uh, moving on. Let's move on right now, shall we? Yeah. yeah let's sure. let's yeah. do that. Yeah. Best but that show was ever. fun, wasn't it? Uh, plans for Valentine's Day. What are you guys doing? Well, you know, you've always been so jealous of me. Mike. Yeah, I know. Carrie doesn't observe. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you don't observe. You guys no, don't. No, you no. don't observe. I very, very happily. We uh, have discussed this for years. You, you say your wife doesn't observe. This is the ultimate free pass that Rob gets. It uh, is. That they don't celebrate Valentine's Day. It makes the Day. 364 other days of the year almost bearable, Mike. This is not a day where the woman is responsible for anything. It's the guy's responsibility. So when you say Carrie doesn't celebrate, no. Carrie gives you a free pass not right. to have to do anything. That's exactly right. So you observe, you just don't participate. Well, I mean, I'm <laughs> aware of the Have you ever gotten her flowers on Valentine's Day? I have. Oh, you have? I think. We'll, so you do so. Yeah, I, I have done in the past, but that's in years past. Yeah. How many years ago? Like 20. <laughs> no, I think I was right after, it was either right before or right after we married. Really? Yeah. So how many years have you not like given her anything on Valentine's Like a card? Mm. Like, uh, no, I don't even think so. Like maybe 98, 99. Oh, my uh, God. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> it is great. You're so lucky. Has it... she ever given any indication that she would maybe like something on Valentine's No, I do believe that one time I did get her a dozen roses. She says, this is a stupid waste of money. Really? Yeah. But, the, but you held on to that. You, yeah. you held on to that. Like, yeah, no, women like often business. say that, but don't mean it. I though. think she means it. Well, mm. don't you think it would have come up? It's 98. How many years ago is that? Jeez. Uh, well, it's the 15 man, years the, ago. Yeah, the man's, the man's gone say, away with do it. Do you ever discuss it? Does it ever even come up at all? Yeah, I usually make a half joke about it, and she laughs about it, because she loves the fact that we don't do anything. See that? Because mm. you've, you've turned it into a bit. No, it's not a bit. You have turned it it's into that a bit. bit. No. That's that That's the bit. Yeah, I've ordered cherries, berries, flowers, and we're going to dinner. I've got pro flowers, ordered them. She got them. Oh, I ordered, I ordered pro flowers and cherries berries for my children. So, oh, did you really? But not your. <laughs>
You're a liar. <laughs> you are a scumbag. There's so many people to buy for. We'll take a break. Come back with more on the Michael Mary Show. <laughs> I Rob. also got him a smart smoke. Rob Spiewak. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. We have fun. He's fully vested. <laughs> Brought to you by Sherry's Berries. Her what? friends will be impressed, Rob, yes. when they see what you got her for Valentine's Day, and that means more attention for you. Yeah. Send her giant, freshly dipped Sherry strawberries. We love them. Carrie would love Sherry's Berries. She would. Get white milk or dark chocolate with swizzles, nuts, or chocolate chips. Prices start at just nineteen ninety nine, and you can double your berries. You're an ass. People in hell would love ice water. You can double your berries for just ten dollars more. Save over forty percent when you use the code TMOS at either eight six six fruit zero two or uh, when you click the microphone at berries dot com. That's berries dot com. Click that mic and enter TMOS. Limited time offer. So get it now. Get it now. So you don't think it's you don't think that the fact that every year we talk about it right. and every year you do kind of a shtick on it mm. that that has contributed to your lack of responsibility for Valentine's Day you're off the hook because you created the bit No it's not that at all she created the bit if by saying If there was no radio show right do you think that uh you know it would still be okay as, Absolutely. As okay, really. Absolutely. Yes. Well, you, the thing that you're missing here is that she runs the home when it comes to the finances. Mm. Does, she run all, does she run all she the runs finances? Yeah, yeah. everything. So, do you get an allowance? No, I get to spend until she says don't spend anymore. Okay, so you get to do what you want. Yeah, well, it's kind of. point. I, yeah, but yeah. it's my money, too. So you, as you know, I'm a parsimonious to a fault. Well, but you've had a big spending weekend, Yes, right? we have. I mean, you bought the puppy. Yes. You took all the kids out to uh, the, the romper room or whatever <laughs> right. it's called. Yeah, romper room. <laughs> you, the the, the, the uh, trampoline, <laughs> yes, trampoline but any, but city. All that stuff. And then you went to Costco and you splurged on uh, you know raspberry Sundays. For I, I <laughs> check with her and before I, I do any of that stuff. Mm-hmm. And it was only one very berry Sunday, and it was only for my son. Jabril. But the dog cost you uh, what two thousand dollars? Six thousand dollars. Six thousand dollars. No, about seven hundred and fifty dollars. No, no, it was two seventy five. Two seventy five. But we so. still have to get it uh, neutered. Right. That's going to be another five hundred. No, that's a uh, if you go to a clinic and actually there's a recommended one here in Zit that they'll do it for I think eighty bucks. Eighty dollars. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll do it so. for twenty. Yeah, so let's say four hundred dollars total expense right, for right, the dog. Right. Uh, hey, maybe the dogs are Valentine's gift. Well, that's your present. That's your birthday present. But if I give it to her as for Valentine's Day, then she still has to give me a birthday gift. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love some Sherry's Berries. A well, long about now? For my birthday. Would you like to be somewhere else today? <laughs> Wouldn't you rather be somewhere else today? <laughs> no, I'm having fun looking at you. <laughs> I am looking at you. Uh, I'm jealous. Is Rob's dog, I wrote this down uh, early, yes. early this morning. Yes. Is Rob's dog truly loved? <laughs> is Rob's dog truly loved? Uh-huh. Or simply a photo op to soften his image. I have seen the pictures of Rob with the puppy. He had an amazing uh, video of this uh, of Linus coming down the stairs, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then there's a still shot. Uh, the, these shots are all over Facebook, and uh, he, and the dog. It appears if mm-hmm. one was to if one did not know you. And one was to go to your Facebook page right. and look at the pictures. Oh, what a nice white guy. It would appear that you really, you're like a dog lover. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. And have I you don't ever believe seen, that. Have you ever seen the <laughs> full color? It. Have you ever seen the full color photographs of uh, Adolf Hitler with his German shepherds? <laughs> Humanizing him? Yes. Where he's playing with the dogs? Yes, and who, you know, if you love dogs, there's obviously, you've got that going for Listen, you. Listen, no shtick you. I want to know the truth. Right. I want to know... How are you I am feeling? So in- I want the real story as to what this dog, you know, and, and not just you. not the not puppy dog tales. I want to know the good, the bad, the ugly. I am so in love with this dog right now. It I believe is so. It. I believe you. So cool. I think it's a gorgeous animal. We, it is. Um, and you know, it, you, you've always given me grief for never being a dog owner, but I was. Well, I mean, uh, for years you you seem to. You know, I was around dogs growing up. Right. Uh, my grandparents had dogs. I spent a lot of time in my grandparents' house. There was uh, one particular dog. He was great. His name was Tonto. And he so was you you amazing. were a dog I, lover. I love dogs, but it never really worked out. And coming from a split up family, mm-hmm. we really didn't have the people at home long enough to keep a dog. Cats right. were more uh, like appropriate to our lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And my mom has a dog. My mom had Otis. Of course, you remember the late Otis. Yeah, you loved Otis. And then and now she has Reddy, who's not quite as good as Otis, but <laughs> ready is ready. And I think right there is, is I always thought, really, I really believed 
that uh, that you just weren't a dog guy based on how funny you were about Frankie and Beluga. Well, and it's funny you know, that you've dogs been, you, vary dog to dog. But Mike. the thing is, you <laughs> always paid attention to them, and I think I missed those signs of doing that. And uh, so the dogs are not a cheap photo op for you. No, huh? certainly not. Are you the one? Would and you be, the cheap has nothing to do with it. Would mm-hmm. you be the number one dog lover in the house, or is there I anybody right else now, under the roof? Because I think Julia could give you a run. And I money. think Robert could too. And really? Robert is funny because Robert is not, you know, he's never been around dogs a lot. And mm-hmm. he's a little nervous around Linus. And like I said, now, Robert, he doesn't do well on steps. If you want him to come down, you're going to have to carry him. Right. And, and this is so cute coming from a 10-year-old. Because he seems to me, uh, of, of both your, your children, he seems the one that's a little uh, awkward around pets. A little bit. But also, he's very sensitive, not just to animals, mm-hmm. but to people, too. He's very, very aware of feelings. And so he got that from Carrie. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> and um, so he says, Dad, I'm not comfortable picking him up. Mm-hmm. And it's just funny and very cute for yeah. a ten-year-old to have that sort of outlook to, to not become because yeah. most kids would say, "Dog, dog, I Jimmy the it. dog, yeah. and grab it and take it up and yeah. by the ears." Maybe, and, maybe did my dogs oh, have anything to do with that? Him. Well, you know what, my dogs. Uh, he is not. No, there's no. My sp- dogs react to yeah. to Robert uh, the third. Yeah. They, they, they sense. They they, they he's he, uh, Julia comes in and she can get. You know, you, he's, it's a vibe. The, he's the awkward around my dogs. Uh-huh. Well, maybe this dog, maybe Linus will help cure that because he's not awkward around Linus at all. And good. he's very loving and he's very good about having him in his lap and things like that. Right. But uh, like yesterday, he took him for a walk. He was nervous to take him for a walk. Any accidents in the house? Uh, with Robert or the dog? <laughs> <laughs> with the dog. Yeah, the dog has uh, peed a couple times. He's made a couple puddles. You, you said there was uh, yesterday that he stood at the door. He and did. And he out. does do that. And he's been great about uh, sleeping through the night. And as soon as he get out, he goes out and he he does big potty right how away. How was he? How was he in the crate when you came home? Was there any mess? Mess in the crate? No, no mess in the crate. That's he, great. He was barking. Now he was barking when I left, mm. and I was going for I get three hours and change, and he was barking when I came back. But I don't think he could have barked that rate. Do you think he for was three straight hours barking because he might have heard your car door shut? I mm-hmm. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so because he, otherwise you're gonna have some really friendly neighbors. Yeah, I was gonna say. Well, luckily our neighbors on either side they're not home during the day either, right. so they would be okay with it. But he was, um, like I said, I think that was the first time he had ever been left alone for any length right. of time. Right, and he was even he was still a little keyed up for even an hour after I got home. Sure, um, but you know, then he got back calm and. He's real good. He's a, he'll come and he'll stay and he'll sit. Sometimes twice. Love love when he sits. He's been doing this for two days. He sleeps under my desk when I'm there. Cool. Right. Which is That's really great. cool. Have him at my feet. And he's a he's just a good dog. And, a, and he's been great with everybody that he's met so far. That's awesome. Well, uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to all meet Linus uh, sooner than later. Provided so. he has a good week, I'd like to bring him in Friday. I have no so. doubt that you love him. But will he help your image? No. Okay. Nothing can. I thought we had a no dog policy in the studio. Nah, Mike and I no. took a meeting yesterday. You know, I figured I want to <laughs> see the little guy. Guy. I want to see what's happening. Sure. And, uh, I didn't know that I saw on your Facebook page that uh, the, the family, uh, he's got some brothers and sisters around. Yeah. The, too, that, I does think that creep you out a little bit? People no, are stalking you that way? Or? No, no, not at all, all. Not at all. His mom is curious. still available for adoption. I think her yeah. name is a Miriam bitch. or Millicent or something. She's four. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the, he had two, uh, a sister and a brother that also went around in Who's the Who's the primary dog caretaker? Uh, it would be me, I think. Uh, really? Yeah. You're doing most of the work? Mm-hmm. You got to put those kids to work. I'm working on it. Yeah. Put well, the dog is new. You'll train him. He doesn't walk well outside he doesn't like his collar which Are is he... really cute he tries to back out of it yeah. but he can't so he just oh and he's a big tail chaser do too. the legs like look buzz. okay though the hip <laughs> oh yeah the hips look oh good? yeah well the way he runs and jumps and pounces I, he wouldn't be doing that if he had any weakness I he doesn't think. he's not like that did you ever see that video of the pug you know, he's bouncing, flouncing, the dog that's got, like, you know what I'm talking about? The dog that's got a neurological disorder. Oh, dear. And, the, like, the rear end of the dog doesn't work, so he can't really run. No. Have you seen this? No, I don't believe I have. There's nothing funny about that at all. This is probably the one of the videos next to Buddy Rich playing the drums with Animal from Sesame that Street. Love. The number one video I get, because we have a pug. Right, and right, And it's right. from Northern Ireland, and the song is, well, he's bouncing, flouncing, <laughs> but he can't. Yeah. Flip and run, <laughs> oh. and, it, and it shows. You've never seen this? No, no I haven't I seen it. Yet. Oh my god, I've seen it. Fi- I'll put it up there, uh, you know, on my put Facebook page. You again. should. You should. I, see, I, I forget that I have to repost it mm-hmm. for people to to, to see really it get to all your along people. the network with my five thousand friends. Don't all you your know? folks, Mike. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, it gets buried. Yeah. So, uh, you, how's no, his head? Like smart dog, dumb dog? He seems to be pretty smart. Now, it's been odd. not based on that stairs video I saw. 
He's, uh, he's coming down the stairs. First time. Yeah, no, but, but whining, whining you. coming down the stairs is kind of. Yeah, I've seen you do it. You know, <laughs> whining coming down the stairs after the Super Bowl last year. <laughs> My face. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's uh, got a point. Yeah. No, he's um he he listens to commands yeah. and like if you point to stuff, he knows to go there. I've pointed to his bed. He's gone to his. But bed. But what's something funny uh, about this talk that we could maybe get in a fifteen minute discussion? What about <laughs> what about? What he a- hates rudeness. <laughs> <laughs> what about when your kids get older and the dogs can get older? Right. Yeah, because yeah. the, the hardest part about having a pet, and especially if you're not really a pet guy, is when they start destroying the house. Right, and that's going to happen. Yeah. He, he's all over. Um, he loves eating sticks and shoes and everything that's not, you know, fastened down. Shoes. Shoes. Oh, he's all about shoes. I had a dog that did that to shoes. So we had no more shoes laying around. If there's, if there's a biting problem at any point, will you be able to get Julia to stop? <laughs> stop biting the dog? <laughs> yes. He, he's, he's right now in the puppy phase of the chewing and the gnawing right. and, the, and the teeth are so little yeah, it's cute yeah, yeah. But, sure. but, but it's really hard to stop it because Man. it's so cute you don't want him to give do it give us the yeah. order in your family because someone will always love the pet more like for example my uh, my Weimar runner and the black lab my brother loved those dogs Weimar runner that's, that's, that's a difficult dog <laughs> It was. That's a difficult Weimaraner. Oh. Did you have a Weimaraner? Yeah. Isn't the Weimaraner the one that they uh, do the pictures of? Yes. Yeah, like, like where a, they put the, them in the shirt and tie like and all that? Like silver yeah. almost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a beautiful cool. dog. Yeah, I would say right now I love the dog the most. Okay. Right. And then I Who's think... Who's least excited in your household about the dog? Uh, I think Carrie. Yeah. But she talks to it, but Does then... she right. think it's more of a pain in the ass than Probably. It but uh-huh. cause She's she not a dog lover. She wanted a cat. She wanted a cat. Well, she'll get, get the cat. She'll get that. She yeah. will get the cat. But she's a, she's always been a cat person. Yeah. So it's see, it always comes full Valentine's circle. Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's. So because I'm not she's getting a cat, cat in the cat, within a week cat, of getting cat. a dog. No, no. What I'm saying is you could patronize one of our fine sponsors, right. and get her something for Valentine's Day to make up. You know, hey, I know it's a it's a new addition to the family. It's a little more work for you, and I yes. know you work very hard, right. supporting kind me, of, of course, yeah. and and, and you ruins her naps. <laughs> It's funny you should bring that up. Does it ruin her naps? As I left home today, we finally got to it. Yeah, here it is. We finally got through the puppy dog tail. Carrie got up and uh, you know got the kids to school and then ran with her hands over her head screaming to get back in bed. And uh, mm-hmm. then so she's asleep and you know got to be about nine thirty and I yeah. got to come here mm-hmm. and I can't leave the puppy having run of the house. Right. I don't want to cage him if he's going to bark. So I had to put him upstairs in the darkened bedroom with all doors shut. Mm-hmm. And I I tapped to Carrie. I said. He's in here with you. <laughs> He's and I said, now. he should be out. He should be walked at about 11. He's going to have to pee at about 11. And she said, I uh, said, uh-huh. So, so we'll now, see what happens. Yeah. So your crate training, which I believe 100%, it's right. the best way to do it. Will the dog have uh, bed privileges ever, do you think? He sleeps in my bedroom. We have a bed in my bedroom will, for him. Will, after he's out of the crate, do you think he'll get a chance to you know, hop up there? I know we've got little dogs. He and cannot sleep in the bed with us. Someday he will. I bet you change that. Yeah, no, they always I, break the barriers. I don't know. I'll I mean, bet I've, he changes that. We have, uh, we're trying to enforce uh, a few things. Is that no feeding from the table of human food good. ever. Now, I know yeah, that'll man. never happen. Good luck. But do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this for you. Okay. And Car- Hey, Carla. <laughs> Here we go. I think Carla's here. I might get in a lot of trouble for doing this. Oh, oh no. But we've had just mm-hmm. recently, and I, I guess I've just become sensitive to it recently. Mm-hmm. Right. We've had a few, not fights, but we've had discussions about the fact that Beluga and Frankie both sleep in the bed. Yeah. Now, Frankie doesn't shed. Beluga sheds oh, yeah. ridiculously. Really? I would think it'd and be the have, other way around. And we have like tan sheets that we have up oh, so there. Oh, you see and I will, it. used to be I, white. I will take a picture of... The beluga hair that's in the bed, oh. and I will let you see what I sleep in. Oh, and wow. let's see if yeah. she's here. Carla, are you home? Because maybe she's because those out. those hairs are napping. coarse, correct? What's that? Yeah, it's they're coarse, coarse hair. hairs. The they're hair. coarse the hair. Needles. They're hair that sometimes, uh, you know, if you if you get one, yeah. it's like having a little mini spear in your throat. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! Oh, god. No. And sometimes you'll get that little. Ah, ah, yeah. like that. But I have become <laughs> rather sensitive to uh, the hair on the bed. And really, uh, he sleeps almost exclusively on her side of the bed. Yeah. And I look over that and I'm like, you know, when baby comes, that, mm. you know, those days are going to be the, yeah. the dog. Right. But they, uh, we've had kind of, we've butted heads over it. Sure. Oh, I imagine. And I don't know why sure. I'm whispering, even though I'm you know, doing a radio show right in now. Here. I'll bet once the baby arrives, she'll come around. Yeah, because I'm not she's sure. going to, she's going to, no, when that baby's here, she'll be very yeah. protective of that baby first and foremost. Like, you don't know, you can't get in a baby's throat. What's going to happen? Yeah, uh, go find it. If her. Carla's not sleeping upstairs, yeah. go go upstairs for just a second. Just and bring five one seconds. Down. No, no. Just take a peek at the bed, and then I want your impression okay. of it. Because the 
Carla. I don't think she's here. See what's going to happen. Make sure if she's not, if she's napping, obviously don't go in there. Let's see the baby, what happens. The baby's so gonna, look at the sheets. The baby's going to drool. Babies He's, do. Babies yeah. are going to be moist. You're going to hear a reaction here because I, I I think everybody should. I've had this kind of issue ever since I've looked at these these sheets with right. the, the beluga hair. Uh-huh. So like under the he gets in the sheets. He gets under the covers. See, oh. that's not good. A good rule. Well, that's what can, they were they, yeah. in the, the. They were bred to but be like can, bed warmers. They can warm the bed from on top of the bedspread. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you yeah. But that's uh, you know. Yeah. They, 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 Oscar's back. No okay, doggy on the sheets. Go. Did you take? Mm. <laughs> Oscar's clearing his throat. <laughs> Did you look at the sheets nervously. Right, so he wasn't kidding. Uh, <laughs> the sheets look like the floor of a hair cuttery. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> That is why I set him upstairs. Uh, that is exactly what that's they... Exa- I, I yeah. want to get that lady that sweeps it up. Get over here. <laughs> See, that's exactly what Your, your baby like. is going to drool. Babies yes. are moist, and you're going to put the Damn. baby in bed, and you're going to wake up, and he's going to look like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, uh, but, you know, even in the morning, on a cold winter it's morning, like I, Carla will go in and take a shower, and I got my little extra time in the morning. I'm like, hey, Beluga, come over here. And he's a great... He's yeah. like a little heater. Sure. He comes yeah. over, but I don't like uh, the sheets. And as far as Frankie, Frankie... Burrows. I don't know how Frankie doesn't suffocate yeah, yeah. because Frankie will go deep wow. under the covers and between like two and they, they, <laughs> <laughs> Frankie sleeps between my cheeks. Of course he does. <laughs> <laughs> and really, I mean, there's uh, you want to talk about a great way to get awake in the morning. You know, what, what when you his mouth gets a little dry. Oh shit. no, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's just <laughs> hello. <laughs> anyway, I love the doggies, but uh, hey, good luck with uh, with all that. Yeah. Thank you. And I know that the first the uh, dog keeping you up at all at night. No, he's great at okay, night. Just it's, checking. It's just it's, it's, it's he does, um, and it is I, again. You're going to hate it because it's going well, Mike, and I have to apologize. Right. But when he wakes up in the morning and he sees you and he wags his tail, it's like having a little baby again. And he's, he's a gorgeous so, dog. He's he a beautiful cute, little cute boy. So salute to Linus. Good uh, boy. And uh, I know we have to take a break here in a couple of minutes but really quick before we do uh-huh. really briefly this is yesterday's news but everybody's seen the pictures by now have you guys gotten a chance to look at the george bush self-portraits in the I bathroom have. i love it so much more than the portrait of him that hangs in the white house i do too i think it's great you like that picture of the him in the tub with his feet i like the feet oh what's the deal a little strange uh, honest to god i'm trying to examine this He's from bizarre. all they did it is bizarre bizarre is yeah, the word yeah. yeah i mean really the guy is sitting there and make his paintings are of him in the t- does he do him while he's in the the tub? I don't know. Does That's, he take a bath? Does he take a bath <laughs> with the canvas? I don't get it. I don't either. Well, somebody said, you know, where did he put the easel when you're looking yeah. down at his or where he's done from <laughs> memory? Well, maybe a secret service guy holds the canvas. Uh, they don't make sense to me What's on the any level. Yeah, they're self portraits. Well, but was, how do you paint a picture of yourself in the bathtub? Mm-hmm. Mike, you were around during his administration. I think it makes perfect sense. It's just a guy. He's a duller. Dick Cheney painted them. The, maybe. That's, perhaps. You really got to love happened. yourself to paint yourself <laughs> do you think they have any other significance outside uh i just can't get my head around it i don't understand why he did them and if he did the, you know a lot of people paint my father yeah, painted right, right my father painted scenes of uh boats and right and landscapes, landscapes and stuff like primarily that. sure but a few still alive but these are and these are nudes yeah. we have to we have to give i mean you don't but see tasteful mike of course tasteful a classy you don't see all the the stuff no. but it's just a. Uh, it's odd for me. There's no bush. And, uh, no, well, there is. <laughs> He's no, in it. No, no bush. Oh, no, I see what you mean. But uh, does he do any other yeah, I paintings? I guess I bring them up, but my computer's not working. Oh, no. It's Well, it's one of those days where nothing <laughs> technical works. Sorry, <laughs> I looked right at Pony Boy. Has he ever done any other paintings that we've seen of some, like a bowl of fruit or a landscape? Or is this new to us? The it one that comes new to, to mind. me that he's a painter. He is standing up at the sink yes. naked, mm-hmm. and there is a little one of those shaving mirrors that right. you have, the, right. the, the magnifying. It's mirrors. A, it's a sharper image product. It's a sharper it image. Is. Like it truly, truly is. Mirror. Yeah, and, and it, it, it's weird. But is that as weird as the one of him just painting his toes? Well, not <laughs> painting his toes, but painting a photograph of his toes, of his feet at wow. the end of the bath. Yeah. What's, what's, it really a- raises more questions than an answer. I, like we, I mean, look, uh, I don't, I'm not very comfortable naked. There's a lot of people that are, uh-huh. um, so I don't know. He must be very comfortable if he's able to do that and paint it and actually. Uh, take pride in that, and, yeah. You know, and I don't. Well, I don't think. But he's to in paint shape. nudes of yourself, even if they're tasteful, what does that say about you Narcissism. as a person? I think really repressed sexuality. It may be and there narcissism. Is, well, like, mentioned. If you're naked and you're painting yourself mm-hmm. nude, right. there is something sexual what about if, those. What days. if it was for Valentine's Day? <laughs> and also, you know what? He's he's he might be a little ashamed of him because we wouldn't know of him if the computer had not yeah. been hacked. That's right. Do you think maybe Laura? And what's he what's he doing? Sending them to people or? A, <laughs> Here's what I did when I was in the shower <laughs> and down in Waco. 
You they know? sent it to Laura. You know, if you Crawford, want, Texas. If you want to talk sexual repression, you look at Laura Bush. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, I mean, oh really, I'm sure there are issues of Here play there. Here we go. We got All it. right. I wanted to bring them up for you. So uh, good. There Thank they you. are. Yeah. There's the one where he's naked. Uh-huh. They're both in the bathroom. Yeah. And there's one where, and it's like a weird perspective. And I'm not. I'm sorry. Not the bathroom. It's uh-huh. the shower and the tub. Oh, okay. So I'm sorry. It's very odd. And it does show him actually painting a regular portrait. Oh, where, I mean, like a landscape. Right. He's painting a oh, building. It's about then, time. <laughs> obviously, he likes to do those of him in the bathroom. I well, wonder if he did one of his mom. Maybe his wife took him. She thought it was like cute or nice that she was doing that. I just think it's weird. It is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Leader of the free world, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a puppy dog owner now, and he's going to give us the audio vault. That's hey. coming up next right here on The Mike O'Mara Show. Folks, I'm here to tell you uh, that if you pay too much for eyeglasses, you can stop right now. And you can do that by going to Warby Parker. iPhone prices for prescription eyeglasses are Crazy. not right. You want better looking glasses for a fraction of retail. You don't want to pay four, five, six hundred dollars for glasses. And when you, you will. Can, you can get them for just 95 bucks. Fashion forward glasses and sunglasses. Every play, every pair comes complete with anti glare, anti reflection coatings, and partly polycarbonate lenses. Polycarbonate. They're the best. You know, they've got great lenses. <laughs> uh, you can try up to five pairs with free shipping, and uh, you can find the right pair for you. We've all done it. Go to warbyparker.com, select your five favorites, and get even faster free shipping with the code TMOS. You try them for five days, you keep your favorite, and you send the rest back again with free shipping. We've all ordered glasses and mm-hmm. sunglasses from Warby Parker. You should, too. Details at WarbyParker.com and use the code TMOS to get fast, free shipping. They really are a fantastic deal, and they are some of the most uh, fashion-forward, state-of-the-art glasses you can ever buy. Without further ado, let's get right to it. Time for Rob's Magic Audio Vault for Tuesday, February 12th, 2013. You're talking about computer hacking with the president just a moment ago. There was a great hack that happened in Montana. I believe it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. They got into a television station, and the emergency alert system went on. It looked like it was on during a soap opera. And this is the message that went out to all the people in Montana, Mike. Civil authorities in your area have reported that the bodies of the dead are rising from their graves and attacking the living. Follow the messages on screen that will be updated as information becomes available. Do not attempt to approach or apprehend these bodies as they are considered extremely dangerous. Yeah, it wasn't really a zombie apocalypse. It was just a gag. You know, the Chinese are figuring out how to hack into our grid. Everything, yeah. The uh, you know the North Koreans are doing nuclear testing right. underground. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, uh, our computer whizzes mm-hmm. are sitting there going, "This ought to be fun." Sure, <laughs> with the Walking you Dead know. on TV. Good God, <laughs> unbelievable! There's a lot of hacking going on, yeah. and I just would love to see some of this activity directed in a smarter way. Thank God you that have your, nice. your bug out bag. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ready to go. In the car with my MREs, ready to fly. But- out of but here. people love that Walking Dead show. It's season premiere. There's 12 and a half million viewers, even up against the Grammys. That's really? Right. And yeah. those are just living people. Right. <laughs> and then, of course, was a two hour Downton Abbey. Yes, and that too. Oh, that's right. a, a lot fif- going on. 15 people watch that. Thank you. Uh, no, that's not true. It's popular. <laughs> I'm Very simply popular, kidding. Rob. An elderly home. Shut simply up, kidding. Oh. <laughs> they did great at the home. <laughs> <All right>. um, <laughs> <laughs> a tip of the hat to the brave reporters that go out there and ask the questions that need to be asked. Amen, Mike. Rob. Especially if you're at CBS Atlanta and you're uh, reporter Jeff Chirico, and uh, a guy has relocated despite faulty business practices. An mm. old man has relocated and started another crooked business. So Jeff <laughs> confronts him and gets punched in the nose. <laughs> oh, no. And I love seeing people get punched anyway, <laughs> but when it's an old man <laughs> punching a pretty boy, <laughs> right. I like that best. Your son's facing some pretty serious charges. That's and you seem reporter. to be back in business now, in a new place where people don't know you. I'm good. We'd like to... Oh. <laughs> now you better get your... And get it gone before that man gets here. Well, we'll be we'll be calling the police, and we, you'll be arrested for assault, sir. You just punched me yeah, in the you're face. Trying to get in, in. No sir, one you were invited. Holding the, you were holding the door. <laughs> no one invited you in there. And you please, didn't start tell it us again. not to go in. Start either. it again, please. Because <laughs> it is son- it is the snarky snark snark reporter. Yeah, and, a, and an old man. Oh, it's yeah. a uh-huh. great Perfect matchup. Combo. Your son's facing some pretty serious charges, <laughs> and you seem to be back in business now, <laughs> in a new place where people don't know you. I'm good. We'd like to. <laughs> now you better get your s*** and get it gone before that man gets here. Well, we'll be we'll be calling the police and we, you'll be arrested for assault, sir. 
You just punched me yeah, in the he's face. He's trying to get in. in. No Sir, one you, were invited, holding the, you were holding the door. No one invited you in there. And you didn't tell us not to go in either. And you just punched me in the face. Yeah, and I'm going to punch you again. <laughs> <laughs> I like that guy. All right, we'll have that on our YouTube page. Yeah. Already there. Oh, Already that there. is fantastic. I love when horses do things that horses aren't supposed to do. <laughs> That's a good setup. Uh, like, you know, like Mr. Ed was popular yes. for, I think, three not, seasons not because horses talk. don't talk. Mm -hmm. How about a horse that can play Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star on the recorder? Really? So what they do to make this happen <laughs> is the guy actually does the fingering on the holes. No. Oh, and, now, now, come on now. That's dirty. But, the family show. But what's yeah. great is he had to put the recorder in the, in the horse's nostril. <laughs> so the horse is simply uh, exhaling this mic. This is music right here. It's animal cruelty. Yeah. The poor horse. Yeah. Can you imagine nice. what the horse is thinking? <laughs> and then I'm oh, no. Hey, he's got cameras. <laughs> now he's got cameras coming along. Not again, Jesus. No, please don't put it up. It tickles. Not, not that sound. Come on. And I can't play that without playing my favorite recorder song ever. And anyone who has got a kid in fourth grade <laughs> oh, this is, great. is going to relate to this. It's one of the great all-time audio vault moments yeah. right here. I remember this. This is the recorder doing the 20th Century Fox motion picture fanfare. <laughs> One of my favorite audio of all moments. Would, would right it kill there. him to use that on at least one movie? Yeah, oh, I'd like to see that before. <laughs> I, like maybe before. Rob, I'm making you repeat stuff, but that worth <laughs> that, that again? Is, yes, I gotta all hear right, that. Let's one go again. back to the movies, yeah. Mike. Yeah. <laughs> this is such a great thing. He's ready to play now. That's beautiful. Now, I don't know your Jesus. opinion on going of Zach Galifianakis. I think he can be very funny at times. I think he can be unfunny at times. Yeah, I agree with it. But, I, that's that's exactly my opinion. But he does a pretty good web series called Between Two Ferns, okay. where he does interviews with people. And um, I don't play Pretty funny often. stuff there. And he had the Oscar winners on this week, mm -hmm. or Oscar nominees, I should say. Right. And uh, I think this one moment with him and Jennifer Lawrence is my favorite because of the way <laughs> he plays it. Okay. So, uh, you played in a movie called The Hunger Games. Um, yeah, isn't that your life story? <laughs> You shouldn't say that. That's off-putting. You should a... be off-putting. <laughs> You're fat. You shouldn't eat any more pudding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, you shut that out. All right. I, I'm a fan of her. Yeah. I, I think <laughs> she is really... I think she's a brilliant actress. Mm -hmm. I mean, if anybody uh, that, that sees the... Uh, the uh, uh, Silver Linings Playbook, Silver Linings yeah. Playbook right, right. really will tell you that yeah. Jennifer Lawrence is the goods. I, yeah, I think she's she really an amazing is. actress, but I love moments like this when they really <laughs> sell it. Can you play? I hate to keep making you repeat, now, but I like these. putting line hers, or did he give that? Her I have no idea. Up. It's yeah. got to be set yeah. up. Oh, I'm it's, sure it's set up. It's so it's brilliant. Sure so you, uh, you played in a movie called The Hunger Games. Um, yeah, isn't that your life story? <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't say that. That's off-putting. You should be off-putting. You're fat. <laughs> you shouldn't eat any more pudding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Zach Galifianakis is a play. Yeah. Did so you ever check see... that out. Between Two Ferns. Very he did funny. it on Saturday Night Live. Really, I, I judge a lot of people by their yes. their appearances on Saturday Night Live. And Zach Galifianakis was one of the funniest Very good, guests yeah. they ever had on that. When he does just his random thoughts at right. the piano, mm -hmm. is really great shtick. He was uh, in the uh, Comedians of Comedy with uh, Pat Oswalt. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. They toured the country with right. that original video. He looked like he smelled the worst right. in that video. <laughs> oh, he did. And he liked to put his hands down his uh, little briefs. A lot of, a lot of shots. Of the lot behind of the scenes, oh, with I that, that whole bus was right. Yeah, so <laughs> uh, with Brian Posehn. You <laughs> still, you still a big fan, right? I can't stand yeah, that that's right. douche. Uh, here's a guy I'm a big fan he of. I you. love, I love rap music. Mm -hmm. And when a pastor by the name of Jim. Choleric, I believe his name is. Mm. He's in Dubuque, Iowa. He did a Christian rap. Okay. And I'm not so sure the lyrics are appropriate. He, I'm going to say what it is, not the way he says it. The name of the song is Jesus is My N Word. Now I'm going to pass the mic to my lovely wife. She's a fly MC and the light of my life. So the bust a rhyme without further ado. See, it skews hip because yeah. he's, you know, for the kids, Mike. Take it away, Mary Sue. Jesus Christ is my. Oh my 
God. He's the son of the original G. And he was sent to Earth to elucidate the way that we should be. What? Like if another MC says, you're a freak, you're a lame butt rapper, and your rhymes are weak. See, that's good music. That's good music doing the word of God, Mike. There are moments that I just fear for our civilization. Oh, I fear for everybody. I truly do. It just, you know, the whole thing. Does it seem to you, fellas, that as we all get older... That it's really not just a statement. I used to say the dumbing of America. We're getting oh, it's dumber. Happening. It's I happening. just, I'm really starting to believe we're oh, sliding. It's literally well, dropping the IQ. Literally, we're, we're the internet, sliding. and the internet is allowing it to happen at a much greater speed. Yeah, because uh, scary. The lowest common denominator with all these people is they all have the internet. I mean, That's right. I, I didn't <laughs> get to just the, upload. I didn't really, really quickly. I didn't get to the movie reviews today, but right. I will tell you that I went to see uh, the comedy identity theft over the weekend. Oh, okay. okay. The Justin Bateman and, and is Melissa it Justin McCarthy? Bateman? Yes, it is. And Melissa McCarthy. Jason, Jason Bateman. Bateman. Jason Bateman. Oh, and I, I went to see uh, this movie, and look, it, it had moments. I think Melissa McCarthy is a brilliantly funny actress, but at the same time, really, you know, about a twenty-five percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, nothing yeah. I saw changed my opinion of right. that. And <laughs> there's just a family down to my right. Oh yeah, that was Dying. just uh, just unhinging sure. their jaw. Ha 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 ha! Like yeah. that, and I said, "That's sad. We're we're declining. We're That's doomed. We're yeah. doomed." And you know, we got to end because we're so late. But I'll say the reason we are so truly doomed, Mike, mm-hmm. is that. Kevin James keeps making movies. Yeah, that's and true. And people are out there paying to see it. This must stop. That is your magic audio. Oh, I'm no sorry problem. we ran over. A lot of fun. No problem. Take All a right. break. Come back with Buzz and News. This is the Michael Mara Show. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, everybody. Now, Rob Spiewak has just committed to it. He's going to be uh, buying flowers for his wife. Yes. And he's going to go to Pro Flowers to do it because she wants flowers. Mm -hmm. She loves them. Don't think she doesn't. I don't not think that. Don't be the guy, Rob, who blew it on Valentine's Day. No, no, don't be that guy. Go to ProFlowers.com now, today, and tomorrow. While they last, listen to this deal. A dozen red roses plus a glass vase, gourmet chocolates, and a plush teddy bear, all for $39.99. Use the code TMOS at 800 Pro Flowers. Or when you click the microphone at proflowers.com. That, yeah, they all want the roses. They yeah, want they it. Do. Thrown. I saw the reaction I Don't got when I got my 100 Blooms of Love this yes. week. Okay. And she loves it. You won't beat the price. We all use Pro Flowers year-round, fresh for a week or your money back. Don't go anywhere else. Go to proflowers.com and use the code TMOS because they are worth it. Mm-hmm. Without further ado, let's get right to it. Here he is, the man, the legend, Mr. Buzz Burbank. Take it away, Buzz. Blah, Thank blah, blah, blah. you, Mike. Now, Iran is edging even closer to having nuclear weapons, according to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Yahoo! Now, he's been warning us about this for some time, but now he says Iran now has centrifuges that are faster than when he first delivered that warning to the U.N. a couple of months ago. But, of course, right now, at the moment, on this day, the world is focused on North Korea, which officially now already has nuclear weapons, two kinds, uranium and plutonium, and now has the kind of three-stage missiles needed to deliver those weapons to California. North Korea staged another nuclear test last night, and now even China's pissed off about it. The Chinese government's called in North Korea's ambassador for a little come-to-Jesus meeting, not that it will likely help. President Obama, who will talk about this tonight in his State of the Union speech at 9 Eastern, calls last night's test a highly provocative act. Now, the president will talk mostly tonight about jobs and the middle class in his speech, but he'll cover a range of other obvious topics. He'll talk about sequestration. That's the drastic government budget cuts that could start crippling our economy in a little over two weeks. What to watch for tonight is not so much what the president says, but how he says it. Will he extend a cooperative hand to Republican lawmakers, or will he extend a fist and deliver ultimatums? Are you excited about the Barack Obama show tonight? Stands with a fist, Rob. That's him. (laughs) The president, we'll see. We'll find out. Mm -hmm. The president will talk about his bid to curb gun violence, and there will be gun victims in the gallery for you to see. You may also see redneck rocker Ted Nugent who is so pro-gun, he predicted he would be dead or in jail if Obama were re-elected. Yep. We cannot and will not cover every gun death in America every day. There are just too many of them. Off-campus college housing was the scene of a murder-suicide in Maryland last night. Right in our backyard. That also wounded two other residents. In Oakdale, Minnesota, meanwhile, a man has been arrested for shooting at passing motorists, wounding two women, and killing a 10-year-old boy. Mm Mm-hmm. Nah, not that it makes gun violence a good thing, but an Illinois woman has critically wounded a man who broke into her apartment and attacked her and her sister. That's for the 
folks who request those stories. Mm -hmm. The manhunt continues in Southern California for the armed and deadly Chris Dorner. Officials now believe that he's headed for Mexico, and airport security workers are on alert for him. He also bought scuba gear, didn't he? he that's what I hear, yeah. yeah so, two days before all, all this happened, he bought I bet scuba gear. I bet he's going to Cancun, then. He he was a, a Navy sniper as yeah, well. Yeah, because right? I went to Mexico. It's not funny, Rob. And that's where I did scuba diving. That is not funny. He better take the safety course. That is not Officials. Funny. I think it's uh, required. Yeah, I think it is. Officials. You have to sign a release and everything. Yeah, you got to act with the king. He's all, all about the paperwork. You never know, man. Best moment of the show comes right at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Officials say Dorner has not finished his to-do list, having killed only three of his 50 targets, so the tension is still high. Yeah, you picked the right town, you know? It couldn't have been... It, it, the joke doesn't work without Cancun. No, that's right. no, it's good. Try the Marriott Burger. <laughs> Got the K sounds in it. Chris Dorner was fired by the LAPD after he filed a complaint about the beating he says a fellow officer delivered to a homeless man. Uh, Dorner's report was ruled to be untrue. Now police are going over the case again, not to appease a killer, they say, but to keep that police department transparent. A Vatican watchers say there's no reason to think that a new pope will be much different from the old pope. Mike O'Mara is the Vatican watcher. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> and this may be the reason... One of the cardinals voting on a new pope is Roger Mahoney of Los Angeles. Hi there. Who was relieved of his desk duties two weeks ago for covering up sexual molestations by priests. Two to he'll, two today. He'll be voting on a new pope. Wow. Mm -hmm. Letterman, what I wanted to close the vault with, Letterman said last night, the real reason that he resigned, uh, Pope Benedict, is that sore neck from turning the other way for so long. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I hope uh, at yeah. least for the face of the Catholic Church, I hope it's a more likable guy. Yeah, yeah, And right, I think yeah, they yeah. can, you know, Pope John Paul had that aura about him. Mm -hmm. There's a likability factor yeah, in right. all of our leaders, no matter where they come from. And for the Catholics, I hope that it's somebody that uh, can maybe bring the world together and do some good. That's all you can hope RJ for. RJ has a brother who's a circus priest. Absolutely. Now, he would be a good Pope <laughs> Diaz. Amen. That's a year yet. I'm hearing don't expect many changes. So okay. we'll, see. well, but I mean, it, it, right. uh, it, it, there won't be many changes in the philosophy, but there will be changes when you consider the type of personality. Mm -hmm. I don't think policy changed under John Paul that significantly. He just traveled more around the world, and he was kind of a right. representative of uh, the Catholic Church. So, and a, but, and a bon vivant. <laughs> yes. A, a lot of folks evolved. think uh, Benedict <laughs> took the church actually backwards a step, a little more conservative direction. Right. So a number of Catholics, especially in the U.S., are hoping that the next pope will take it forward a little bit. What we're hearing from Vatican watchers is eh, probably not. And he looks sneaky, Benedict did, too. Yeah, yeah. He, he had those eyes. And I want a prettier pope. And well, lazy. <laughs> he's crafty. He gets lazy. around. Yeah, yeah. He's lazy. Quitter? Yeah. Comfortable <laughs> shoes. You know what? I want a priest in heels. Yeah. yeah. I Red heard. loafers. I heard he's going to Cancun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For the scuba. Uh, thank you, Florida. <laughs> Thank you, Florida, for former the former state Republican Party chairman there who just pled guilty to four charges of grand theft for diverting party funds to a fundraising company. Mm. Now, by striking this plea bargain, he accomplishes two things. He saves his state's party and the governor, Charlie Crist, from embarrassment, and he saves the party from exposing its inner workings. Oh, wow. Plea bargain. Grand theft. Yeah. Mm. Uh, finally, 53-year-old Willie w Merriweather, Willie Merriweather of Aiken, South Carolina, is here to show us how not to behave at a job interview. During his interview, Willie whipped out his Willie, oh, telling wow. the interviewer it fell out. <laughs> wow. Oh, Willie. He, he later told police he must have forgotten to zip his pants and it just fell out. <laughs> y you know, the way they do. <laughs> I'm Buzz Burbank on the Mike O'Mara Show. Thank you, Buzz. Yeah. Our show today brought to you by scorebig.com, a great time of year for live sports. Or maybe you want to take someone special to a concert on Valentine's yeah, Day. Rob. Yeah, Rob. Either Buzz. way, your first stop is scorebig.com to save up to 60% on the best tickets here and across the country. Every ticket on scorebig.com is below box office price, and there are never any fees. Stop wasting your money. No matter what team or show you want to see, go to scorebig.com, enter the code TMOS, and you get an extra $15 off on your first order. That's on top of your up to 60% savings. Whoa. Never pay box office prices again. Go to scorebig and use the code TMOS. Tomorrow I will finally get to those uh, movie reviews that Good. I've been trying to get to you 
all week long. And uh, also a, a nice thank you to a very special listener that I believe gets the joke. Oh. And, a, and an update on the Florida Burmese python hunt. Oh, that's right. The python hunt. Yeah. We might get to that tomorrow, oh. hopefully. Uh, have a great one. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new show. Sorry about the Ustream issues. And we'll uh, have them all fixed for tomorrow's show. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Bye.